is going to have to face the chopping block as the Alamance Burlington school system finds a solution to its big budget shortfall of more than $3 million. Yeah, leaders are having to make some tough choices. The price the district needs to pay might cost it a school. The Alamance Virtual School could close as part of the superintendent's plan to find funding. Fox 8's Sarah Winkleman joins us live at the district offices. So Sarah, how do parents feel about this? Well, Neil and Natalie, the, uh, the parents are devastated, not only that their children might not be able to learn virtually anymore, but also that this process is happening so fast. The district said uh, yesterday that the school board was going to meet today to discuss this possible closure. However, this morning they pushed that decision back until Monday. But even with that, parents and students came out here today to the district offices to make their voices heard. Students took a stand. Being here today shows that there is still hope in this world and that you can still fight for what is right. They have fears about their future. I was scared that all my friends were going to get separated. And their parents upset. It was heartbreaking. Several of the students started when the school opened during COVID. I have 750 some emails from all of our students, staff, and parents. Each of these emails have why students want to stay in this school and why parents believe this is the best school for their students. The group sent those emails to the school board members, begging them to find a way to keep the school open. The um, advantages to being at home on their computer and for school, they don't have the anxiety, the bullying, the distraction. The thought of having to put him back in that school building I mean, I was crying my eyes out all day yesterday. The school started in response to COVID and currently has about 230 students enrolled. The enrollment has dwindled over the past few years. We did close a portion of that school earlier. Uh, some of the, uh, the lower grades we actually closed going into this school year uh, as federal funds started to expire. Every school in the nation is losing their COVID dollars this year. Um, and so that was originally part of the plan. And our plan was really to start communicating that soon to those families. Parents want the school board to know how much they value the school and are staying optimistic it won't close at the end of this school year. As long as I can fight, I will be fighting for my child, for all the children, and for AVS. And if the school board does decide to close AVS, the students as well as the teachers at that school will be dispersed to different schools throughout the district. Again, they're going to be discussing this proposal at the school board meeting on Monday night at 630. It's happening right here at the district offices. Live in Alamance County, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News.